Greg, uh, I think in a specific answer to part of your question would be that uh, I think we need better communication between the city staff and the people that are going to do the building, whether they're building a house, whether they're building a small business building, or whether they're doing uh, what you and your family do, which is uh, to build much larger pieces of uh, uh, and, and cover much larger acreage. Uh, I think if we can figure out a way to get the communication set up so that you know exactly what is required of you and it doesn't deviate, and then the city staff knows exactly what they are supposed to do, uh, I think we can go a long way towards getting rid of some of this negativity and people having the idea that we are not business friendly. I'm not suggesting lowering taxes. I'm not suggesting giving any sort of break on water, sewer, or anything like that. I'm just talking basically about more, more communication between all of the players in a particular situation. Other than that, I want to thank you folks for having this. has been a very well done, uh, very well uh, attended uh, forum, and uh, we got some information. All of us that are over 50, and I only see two or three people here that are, but uh, <laughs> I'm glad you showed up. I'm glad you invited me, and uh, thank you very much. Thank you, John. Hold it to a minute. Um, is there anyone in the room that, that will admit to being over 70? No. Thank, thank God I'm not the oldest person in the room. I am the candidate who fully understands the city of Moscow and the University of Idaho have their work cut out for them. We must attract or develop new business in the community and assist with increasing enrollment at Idaho's flagship university. Every one of those students is worth over $50,000 annually in total dollars generated in this community. I will continue to advocate multimodal transportation and an efficient use of natural resources while looking for ways to achieve the growth that is necessary to keep Moscow vibrant. I believe my willingness to listen, my moderate voice on the council, and my knowledge of the issues will allow me to help Moscow continue to be a desirable place to live, work, and play. I would appreciate your vote on November the 5th. Thank you so much. Thank you all. And Rebecca. Thank you for this opportunity, Sue, and everyone who put this together. Um, so if you vote for me, you're voting for somebody who has a new, is a new person, has a new perspective, not political baggage, a person who cares deeply about the community. Um, and uh, let me leave you with this vision, and this is from my, my art background, but uh, a community, in my mind, should be, excuse me, a weaving and not a tug of war. You know, when you have strands in a weaving and you, you know, you pull on one and it breaks, I mean, some of you are weavers or have at least made a pot holder, probably, but, you know, so you need to, to have a balance in, in the components that make up your community. Uh, if you have a tug of war, you know, somebody, you know, falls down. Is that winning? I don't know. But um, I guess that's the vision I want you to leave with uh, and uh, consider my candidacy for, candidacy for the city council because that's what I'll bring to it. Thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> yes. I'd like to leave the thought in your head that Elected officials don't have a secret conduit to a bank of knowledge that they just go into and extract the information they need and make an informed decision 100% of the time. In my years on P&Z, and I would like to carry this forward to city council, I like to listen to what all of you people have to say because the government is supposed to be working for you guys and not the other way around. Come to us and talk to us. Tell us what's on your mind. Give us your ideas. And I think we can all do better if the city council sits and listens to what you guys want and what your thoughts and ideas are so we can know something that works for the entire town and not just a faction here or a faction there. So I'd like to see us go forward and do that as a collective instead of a bunch of individuals. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. You know, sometimes I think we make it too complicated for ourselves. 
and we just need to simplify things, get back to basic things, and do the things that we should do day in and day out. I've been a hard worker my entire life. I've worked for years and years and years for Safeway. Lots of you folks know that because you see me down there at the store. And I tell you what, here's what I think. Focus. You need to keep the focus, stay with the focus, and guess what? It'll work. Folks, it'll work. It's not rocket science. Let's keep it simple. Let's work together. Let's make it happen. I'm a good communicator, and I will never, ever, ever, ever give up. I'll make it happen, folks. I look for your vote on November 5th. Thank you. Well, I've been a resident of Moscow for over 30 years. Um, I'm inspired and re-inspired my, by my job as mayor every day, and I would like to continue that momentum. I also am a hard worker, but uh, unlike my opponent here, uh, I don't believe in isolationism. I think it's critically important for Moscow to reach out beyond our city limits and seek funding from outside agencies to enhance the awareness of our elected officials and other policymakers at the state and federal levels uh, to bring awareness to the development community that might become more aware of Moscow because of the publications, the national publications for which we are gaining such favorable attention. Uh, I am a vocal and visible representative of our community uh, at the local, state, regional, and national levels. Um, I, as I mentioned earlier, am an, an informed optimist. I think that there's plenty of good news to be shared and that elected officials have a role in either disseminating <laughs> bad news or representing the reality of, of balance. Uh, the, I have to say that three of the top uh, five years in commercial development when I issued my State of the City address in February occurred within the last five years. Uh, and the two spikes before that were from Gritman's expansion and from our wastewater treatment project. So we are making incremental growth in uh, both in population and in our commercial development here. So it's uh, maybe slower than some would like, but that's been the state of Moscow for many, many years. Uh, we have a higher than average median income and lower unemployment rates. We're doing well. Thank you. I ask for your vote November 5th. Thank you, Nancy.